back. And again, that you glance and you know, go through that trail. Then you might move along, walking, you know, and had it right. If I'm going down here, we are together. I can't. How much have you I can't possibly can't pass. I can't really. Excuse me, I'll go on the corner. I can't pass that way. I'll have to use this hand to do that one because it's a bit hard. I'd love to get the basic one right, but would you like to just. Now you'll go stationary first, then you might move, you might jog slowly, <coughs> and then you could run and you'll see how good you'll be at it. And I have another bit of flag. Yeah. Other pass. Take it off and look. On these other passes and pass. In case you'd like to know them. Oh. And we'll do them too as well. Um, you saw one, ring. we did one before lunch, that, that's the, the one with your guiding hand, the one you catch the ball in. By the way, I, I know what Pat was saying, that, I don't know who was saying it, maybe I was thinking, thinking myself. But it's amazing, there was a lad playing with one. Yeah, why is that? I don't know much because he didn't laugh by that. His brother, this Pat Ryan, who plays now, his, his name was Eamon Ryan. And he played quite a bit though, and he was never great. But I remember one day now when I was like a good few years ago watching him. I had great time from him because he was a committed fellow, you know, a good decent lad who would listen and learn if he could anyway. And um, there was one day uh, we played Kilkenny in one of these early season things for an AIB cup or some rubbish like that. But we beat him and so we were delighted. But then this match he came on and he, sorry, he was on from the beginning and he went out to the wing for a ball. Now he was another merchant who hit from the left side and couldn't properly hit from the right. But again, it was a short swing and uh, he shouldn't have been hooked. But they continued by with that. And I remember I was, I couldn't see, you know, what, what was happening. But I know what did happen. What did happen is he lifted the ball and then he was hooked. Now there was no way he should have been hooked because he was, he had the ball before the guy. And I was wondering, what God happened? But so the following Sunday when there was a little bit of, a little bit of coaching that I took him down for a Sunday morning thing, you know. So I saw him. Watch what he was doing. And it reminded me because the chap this morning was um, was doing the this this as well. He this one this is the way what's the way he, he, he lifted the ball and what he did then? Okay? He lifted it kind of here. No look. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, wait let's see. Yeah, I see those like things what are we doing? Dear Frank, <laughs> may not be your problem, but it could be something. But you see, look, look, he had a whole lot of things to do now. Boy had to go up here, that's mm -hmm. fair enough. This hand had to go back, this one had to go up here before he ever saw <laughs> That's why. I, I wouldn't have believed it. Now, don't forget, he was with Mount Sinai. And they were county champions up. And that nobody, nobody so ever either discovered it or did anything about it. It wasn't a scandalous thing. So then, you know, but it just shows you how, how much need there is for coaching. All the bad habits. If you're sad, if you thought of it, then there must be more again. That fellow developed. Anyway, after our lunch, we're busy. We're going to be busy again. That's we must do a bit of um, that second hand pass. Now that's a much more difficult one. I know you can pass up though. I, did I say that I didn't? I'm scared of this after holiday pass because. You see, it's all very fine. I know you're there now. But if I move up here, you're in a different position. And it mightn't, if there's a fellow coming out or another coming across, it mightn't be all that easy unless I'm a very experienced player to pass off the holly. Gerald McCartan is very good. I think he is, Pat. Is there anybody else on your team that you'd pick out and say, Jesus, we can pass off the holly exactly right? So you have to think, that's the staff of the skill of the top field, the skill of the top field. Ten. No, I, I don't know what you think that. This is only my opinion. But I would be very slow about passing off the holy on teaching lads to do it early on. You know, I would. Because I find, and I've seen it happen, oh, I could give you matches too. But the matches one. Inter county, months of champions, we can play on Limerick, I know one in particular. Eamon Grimes, solo, solo, solo. Cart, pass the fellow, solo, 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 solo. Two cart, cart again, pass the fellow, solo, solo, solo. I'm going to pass to him. And. Sean Hare came in, cut the ball down here, in across an old case he goes. I remember that well. All came from, he passed the where he thought his man was. And he was there. But he never thought of the other fellow who read the thing perfectly and came in intercepted. Isn't it deadly? And it can put, and I'm almost scared of young lads. I'd rather they catch, glance, pass, you know. Now we did that this morning. Now, this is the pass now that you might find a bit of difficulty with. Where, as Pat was just saying this morning, you might have to pass over in that way. And you can't do it that way, really. What's more, the man might be running along here and he might have to stick out the holiday and you know, you're, you're a dead dog, don't you? And this is the one where to do it in slow motion would be clearly impossible. But I'll tell you what it is. You, you, 
Yeah. You would throw the ball, don't let the referee, any referee around, Eddie, where are you? Stay where you are. <laughs> where you actually throw the ball over here. But this isn't a throw in the usual sense. The ball gets over here. <laughs> you help it. And you, the hurley passes underneath to be caught by this now vacant hand. And now you're free to hit the ball with this hand. So if I were passing to you, Eddie, I again would glance for it and I'd do it like that. And I'd go across. And again, I'd follow through. And I think that's a great pass because I think, first of all, that hand is stronger. But the, the great thing is that you should even kind of lob it over here and you've heaps of time even to get under it and hit it higher than usual if you want to, you know. Oh! <laughs> but, um, look at it again now and I'd love you to try it because he, if, if you can do it, fine. But even those who can't do it, um, again, I, I, I recommend to you that you keep the nose the whole way to the right. If you don't feel like doing that, that's okay. But I would love, I, I think it's easier, I don't know. I think it's hard to hit the ball that way. I think it's even harder on the wrist. Oh, there. yeah, different, uh, that's different. You see, there's so many ways the ball running along. I know, but of course, yeah. uh, we actually talked about this morning. We didn't do much about it because it's a difficult one with the uneven ground, you know. Yeah. But um, I'm talking about the ordinary jab lift. Of course you can, it's not. I find a great strain on the wrist. I know if you do, but there's none in the world this way, you know, and you're back again. That's the thing you could get lads to do, that, that. It's good for the wrist. Just as it's a good thing, and you could even do it now, it's that thing. Twist, you know, that's good for the wrist, look. Oh, I may have to do it so well. Uh, but it's good for the wrist too, you know, if you're moving it around. But, um, sorry, go back to that again. This fella comes over while the ball is thrown across, you know. This fella goes across the chest, like that, but you'll catch it across. And you're free to, and I made a, I hit it down here now. See, I wasn't watching the ball. And I tell you, must watch the ball. Then you won't miss it. No matter how long you're playing, you must be reminded of basic things. Cross and, and again, chuck it out and to go, you know. And be sure you punch it out. Punch it out. And if once it's that high, he'll definitely get it. And as Pat was saying, if you're moving, it should be always just in front of him. You know, if he's moving, so I say you would aim for there. Now you only do that with practice, you know. Now that could be most important. And if you were doing a little drill, and I, I think I'd love to see you doing it first of all, I, I, I bet not too many of you could do it properly, you know, because you wouldn't be asked to do it properly maybe before. And I'd love you to do it now. I'd love to see you at it. In twos, if you like, lads, first of all, you know. In twos, just, uh, you could be, well, whatever, if you're left-handed, <laughs> right hand then the hand pass with the it follows the same thing follows in if, if you're left-handed that again as you throw the ball across as i pass it across you say oh god uh oh gee it's gone away in me you see because i'm not used to doing that <laughs> that's my excuse i'm sticking with that sounds great but you can also pass up with the holy like that <laughs> But you can, can't you? you know? uh, even the shark pass, not and done. There's so many ways you can pass with the holiday. But it's great to have that because there might be some time when so, uh, you might have a player on your left and you might see your teammate and you want to pass into his hand. And once you can do it, and by keeping it low, by keeping it low, you know, there's no question you'll be blocked or anything like that, you know. Just on the passing thing, there are two other passes I'd love to give you and you, you could do them fine. One is from, we say, your backhand side left and you do it with the heel of the hurley. And it's mighty effective, say, let's say if you were full forward and you, you couldn't get around a huge and all the other intimidating pull back. <coughs> and you would like to pass to a chap outside who gave you one little shout, and you, the heel of the hurley, and it's mostly with the left hand, you'd push it out to him. And it go right, to go right into his hand, you know. Now that's one, with the right. Again, uh, you, you saw him and then, Keep your eye on the, keep your eye on the ball, on the white when you're doing it. And if it's from your right side, it is more the nose of the hurley that you would up again. It's not, it's not nearly as effective, I think. The heel is, a, is the better one, but you might be caught here. And indeed, Jimmy, by him often after use that, and he scoop it up. Oh, sorry. Beg your foot there, beg your foot and so. Uh, it went up. Would you try it yourself too? You pass to me, just for the fun of it, you know. Keep watching the ball with your eyes. Good man. Ooh. Good and again, you don't want, you can't expect to be accurate the first time. No way. But again, if you went out towards where you are, where am I saying that? Here. Also, out that way. Now I get it. 
out towards me, good man, see? Now try from the other side, it's a bit easier. Which is actually easier, you know. Scoop it out, use your left hand to push it out towards me again. Good man, let him look by, I made a mistake. Uh, again, uh, slant it back a little bit, back a little bit from it, and chunt it out, you know. Kind of push it out, just try it again, you see. Good man, you got it, you know. That's the kind of... We'd like to try that and show off how good you are. Who is it this last piece? Somebody... Give yourself a bit of distance now, you get If you haven't that part that we get, there's a ball here. There's the ball. Oh, great, thanks. Not too bad at all. Ah, so we'll enjoy so much to make. Fine day, That's a beautiful day. Cheers. Fall in there with... Um, I feel you so much while I just try and catch a couple of fellas doing it. If you're playing up that way, and the danger thing for me would be to stand here. And I, I, I think I'd advise, if I, if I were you, I would. I, I'd advise and I'd insist with young lads. I wouldn't be just advising. I think you must insist with the young lads that you'd have around 12 and 11 or whatever they'd be. Because if you don't insist, they won't do it. And that's all there's to it, they won't. But if they want to be part of your setup, they'd better listen to what you're saying. And if you don't insist on that, you're going to be all wrong because they're not going to do it and you won't be preparing them for the, the games where they'd have to do what you want them. Now, I'd always want them to have the holy up where there's attack. You know, have the holy up here, ready? Like that. Because, you see, that'll protect you to get to the a swing around or anything. Mm -hmm. Now, only a fool would hit the ball. You know, that. Only a fool would try and hit the ball when I'm here, because I'm going to the holy here and I'd hoop it. You know? That, that's one danger, is that you're too near for a backswing. Or worse still, here, that's dangerous. That's a real danger point there. Again, if, if you're playing up that way, you're going to swing back, I might get the back of it. That's, yeah, this is another terribly dangerous thing. You'd be amazed how all Ireland were lost. I can tell you one. I can tell you one that was lost because that was remembered. I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> um, to stand there is highly dangerous. If you have the holy up, you'll protect your face. Whatever with these, you'll protect your face. Because the chances are that he'll swing around. You know, the chances are especially if he follows through properly, that will be around and up. I mean, it might, might be more around than up. And if you know yourself, there's bound to be careless and poor holders on every team of young lads, you know. A big fellow who's too lazy to learn properly or too cumbersome to learn either, maybe, you know. So that's a danger. Right? So you must watch and you, you must watch that in, in kids. They must not be here. That's dangerous again. That's the wrong place. The one place that some way safe, most certainly, is right behind him. Right behind him. If I were here and he could swing all he liked, and I'd be safe. You kidding me? I never thought he'd be a nice chap and I'd be very funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's exactly. Let's have a good bag. And a bow will do. No, no idea that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't you tell it. They don't stop telling lies with you. I'll tell the truth about them, right? <laughs> right. right. Now, so. Again, whenever there's a tackle, keep the holy up. If you're going into the, the, the hoop thing, oh sorry, I'm going to do the ground tackle, yeah. The ground tackle, we'll, we'll give you the theory of it now for, I don't like the one that's given those notes that you'll read at all. It's the one front pack where the ball is here, he's going to pull. And I'm supposed to be such a good boy that I get in just as you're pulling and put in the holy here. You see, he'll hit, if I put in there, this is the real physical thing, that means 
please fit me close there. I mean, up along here, skin my all of my knuckles all over. Wait, wait, you see what happened going up here? That's real, this is a real danger. Oh, don't ever get fellas doing that. Or allow them. Well, watch it, please. I don't like that. It's too dangerous. It really is. So the one I'd like now would be if you were maybe a bit bigger. If you're a bit bigger, this happened with kids now, and I want to make it safe. By the way, look, well, would you believe this, lad? I think <coughs> don't ever put a little fellow on a big fellow with kids. Don't even let it happen. Don't let a big fellow, because a little guy can be blown out of him unless he's highly trained to tackle, and that's asking too much, you know. And even then, the big bully might be not above teaching this young whipper snapper a few lessons that weren't in any rule book, you know. It could happen. He might be exasperated by the idea of a little pygmy challenging a giant. But here's one that's pretty safe. Will we do it? You pull on that ball now. Go ahead. Pull on the ball. Sorry for that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. It's yours, God's boy, George. Now, you can always look safe, or Sorry for that. Uh, you did it more, more of a big one. Ah, sure they did. Ah, no, there you have to. Could we have that again? Just go more. 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 We all like to see that again. What is it? I deserved it. What's that? Did we all like to see that again? Because I don't think it's fair. Uh, no, what you do is, you do it very slowly. I promise they won't do anything above and beyond reproach. You go in a slow motion pull in that ball. Go ahead. Imagine I was coming in a little bit slow, very slow, very slow. I put in that and it went in as well. You see, you pulled on the ball correctly. You pulled on it correctly. Now I went in, I must go in. And you see, when he was pulling on it correctly, he was doing the nice thing we said this morning. And his weight was out here a little bit. Because he's big, you see, I'm small, and he's supposed to blow me out of it. But what happens is that he's a, a sitting duck now for one little chop here and he's gone. You know? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. John, is it? I never forget you, John. <laughs> no, anyway. <laughs> That's what the guy says to you when he meets you in the street and he owes you money. I'm not forgetting you. <laughs> but anyway, but John, you see, in, again in, in slow motion, if I, I were to go over here and you get lads to do that in pairs, and honestly, it gives them confidence because that, to my mind, is a safe tactic. They've got to get in the holly in front of the ball and go in themselves, you know? And if I were going to swing again, you do it, John. We do it in slow motion. I wouldn't try. Oh no, you chuck. You come with the ball. I'm the ball guy this time, you see. Don't you follow me, John. I'm, I see. Again, what you do now, John, is you go in and put in that holly in front. That I, I. Now you hit the ball that time. If I did it quicker, you wouldn't hit the ball. <coughs> or if you did, you only barely stir it. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, you'd be down, and I'd be saying, "That's that, John. Thank you." And I lift it. Or I'll throw it away. I'll kick it away. I'll fade away. But it, it, to me, it's, it's one it's about the one of the few occasions when a little lad can safely challenge a big fellow. I know a few times, once in particular, I remember big chap Limerick had him. I forgot his, I forgot his name now, but he doesn't appear anymore anyway. And he was a kind of a big, hard, strong man. It wasn't even that. It was a while ago, lad. This is way back in the dark ages. But he was a big lad, but again, the ball was going wide and he was going to come in and hit the ball, but hit me first. But I remember putting in this thing and, and going into him and I flattened him and they said, God, your man is wicked strong. No, but you see, I got him on the, on, on that, on that, uh, with all his weight out on this foot, on, on the left, you know. But again, in slow motion, it would be something like this. You, I'd be in the head, you say, and I'd be going for the pull. And you put in the hole in front of me, that's it, that's it. And go in as well, you see, but that's the important thing. And actually, if you go in even quicker, you will flatten me before I have even time to hit it. Now, that's... It would not. No, no, the only free as you probably know, lads, is where you lift two feet off the ground and, ah, you can you. No, that's the free. But when the two are going for the ball, you could even shoulder before you get to it. It's just the two, as long as you wouldn't lift up the two feet and lash the lads, you know. No, I, I, I'm a little scared of, of just shouldering a fellow. You know why? If you just come in and shouldered me alone without going in, I could still be swinging and I could, you know, I could hit you. And I don't want anybody to get hit. No bloody way. No, I, I don't want anyone to be hit unnecessarily at all at all in the game because it's, it's wrong. But can you see the one I mean now, lad? Yeah. Thanks very much, John. You're, you're, you're a decent man. Um, would, would two come out and just do it for us, lads? We see. Because okay. don't worry, he won't flatten you. Do you want? I'd love to see Mary coming out there and taking on his nails, but 